Hey GTA, uh, this is Should I Buy This? And you know, today we're checking out the Vapid Riata. I think I pronounced that right if I didn't correct me, but I'm almost certain it's the Riata. It's a new off road vehicle that came with the DLC uh, Doomsday Heist. And uh, I'm gonna kind of check it out. Now, I would say in a class of vehicles, a lot of people say it's like the Sand King. I think it's better. And we're gonna see how much better it is. There's a. Uh, one, there's a lot of options for this. It comes standard with, as you can see, a light bar up top and the extra off-road lighting in the front. There's a lot of library available and a lot of options, so we'll just kind of go through it. The starting price tag for this vehicle is $380,000. So, kind of want to let you know like what's available, what it can do, and ultimately, should you buy this? Um, spoiler alert. If you're really not into off-road vehicles, it's not your thing. Probably shouldn't, unless you just need an off-road vehicle. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, if you are into off-road vehicles, this might replace the one you're currently using. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to get this over to my buddies at the shop, get this outfitted pretty nicely, and uh, let's go. Comes pretty nicely equipped. You can see it has some large tires, pretty good suspension, gives a lot of travel. We're gonna see what all is available here. All right, so let's see. Start at uh, some modifications, and we're gonna add all performance upgrades. Well, we're gonna add all armor. Well, let's look at the front bumper. What can we get? So it looks like it's a lot of options here. And start we're off with the secondary pull bar. You can see that looks pretty nice. Primary bull bar puts in the primary color. Then you just have the bull bar too. So let's see what the difference is. Okay, I see. Not much. Uh, I guess you could just try to change color. Bull bar ram. I actually kind of like that. And is there a winch included? I'm sure it's not usable. Looks like there's a winch on all of these. Um, should maybe stop. Oh, it is stock. You can't really see it. When you get the primary bull bar, you can definitely see it under there. Um, winch and a hook. Again, you can't use it, so it's not much there. But you see, when it comes to bull bars, uh, there's a lot. Um, I think this is something like what the Sand King comes with. So if you want to just compare, uh, this is all the options that you can get. So that's, um, that's pretty sweet there. I think I'm gonna go with let's just mm, I don't like the secondary bull bar. I kinda like that one. So we're gonna go with that. Well it says secondary, but depends on what color we go with. Uh, let's see what the rear bumper what we get. So we get a bull bar back here. And that's kinda like what you would see with the Sand King. I imagine it's not gonna be much back there. And um, Let's go with the primary color, and then actually in the front, we're going to go with the primary color too. And let's see uh, some of the modifications. Let's see what we got for side skirt. So we have the secondary side skirt. I'm thinking it's going to be something like a step. Yeah, similar to the Sand King. Same thing there. We have the chrome one. I'm going to go with the primary again. I'm not sure what color we're going to make this. Maybe we'll keep it orange. Uh, and then just to let you know, the other ones are the slot skirt, and then just the stock, where there's nothing, nothing for the stock. We're gonna stay at the primary. All right, so exhaust. Uh, expect there to be some pretty sweet exhausts here. It's like everything exhausts to the back. Okay, so carbon tip. So not really, actually, much in the way here. Uh, not to change much. Uh, the grill. Classic grill, retro grill. I kind of feel on the retro grill, the stock grill. I hate that we lose the lights here uh, with the grills, but I do like the retro. All right, the bonnet, or if you're on this side of the ocean where I'm at, we call it the hood. Uh, so the Bennett hood, that looks eh, okay. All right. Uh, and then we have this America USA bug deflector here. 
It's kind of crazy that you can't get both. Um, since I'm on retro, I might go with that, may not. Uh, or you just do secondary, you can do primary. Um, not really sure. Although I don't like this hood, I'm gonna go with this hood. Don't know why, it just seems to look best with everything. So, the roof. Looks like we've got a lot of uh, options here. So, the roof rack, this looks very um, different. Okay, so I'm feeling this one right here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Kind of like that. It, you, as you can see, this just kind of reminds me of one of those retro internationals. Almost not quite. Uh, I know that's not what it's based on. Maybe it is. But it, look, it has kind of dimensions of a more futuristic, uh, what was that, the international can't think of what the name was of it. Uh, tell me in the comments uh, right now, but actually looks kind of cool. It's a little like a Bronco. Uh, it looks nice also. And it's funny because uh, this is what you would expect. You know, I think this is the most high end option. And I'm kind of thinking a primary cap looks pretty sweet. So we're going to go with that. Just my choice. You kind of see what the options are available. You got all the EMS upgrades, all brake upgrades, transmission upgrades already. That does not come with the vehicle, just to let you know. Uh, now suspension. I don't think we should drop this suspension. It just doesn't make sense to me because it's not for a vehicle. I never understood that. But you have all the suspensions, armor. Uh, now this is where you're going to see some, some kind of craziness. You have the Space Cadet Library, which is quite crazy. You can see there is a spaceship that looks quite like, uh, looks pretty phallic. Then there's Patriot Beer. Let's, uh, uh let's zoom out of here. That's kind of nice, especially if you have the America uh, USA bug reflector. Then there's Redwood. I actually kind of like this one. That's what we're going for. There's a Woodland Camel. Not too bad. Uh, you know what you're going for. The Dawn Camel, again. Maybe not the best. This is Shrewsbury Hunter. Uh, this one here definitely says Miracle. If you want to try to say Miracle. Oh, no. This one says Miracle. Uh, there's so many. The Vapid. Uh, which, I'm not sure who Vapid. I'm going to say and say Ford. Uh, that Vapid's kind of modeled after. So, probably make this more Bronco. Even though we've done some where. Things didn't quite a lot enough, kind of like the Imponte, which is clearly probably a Pontiac, uh, which isn't made anymore um, in America, but they put like the Deluxo, which was a DeLorean. So this is a double stripe kind of feeling this back. You know, that, the blue double stripe, mm, center double, oh, center stripe, no double, and then stop, which it doesn't have a bad library. Like it has a nice tone, but I don't think I'm going to go with this double stripe here. If y'all know me, I'm kind of a simpler guy. Or, should I go uh, I wish more lights could come with it, but we'll see. Um, I feel like if I have the shoes, very. We're, we're gonna go double strike Or not. It's so many options. So many options. Uh, let's see, window. Oh, let's see, window tint. It's just too dark. Well, you guys might miss it. It's too light. It's interesting because let's see, dog. it tends everything, even the cab. It's clearly another kind of window. So I wonder if it's like double tint for this back window. So we'll do a very light so you guys can see me, but that's available. Wheel categories uh, obviously off road. Uh, let's see. Choices. I'm not liking this, I'm not sure. I like the Doom Basher. But of course you can go like SUV, whatever your choice is. Um, That's nice. The blue 
bulletproof tires, all that. So I didn't like make it go crazy with the vapid, but um, it's nice enough. So we're gonna get this thing out of here. Can't take it out the normal way because we're doing things a little differently. And we're gonna take it over to uh, Mount Chiliad. We're gonna go up Mount Chiliad. We're gonna scale all the way to the top to the cable cars. Let's see how long it takes to get there. Um, and kind of at the end, I'll let you know uh, if it's worth it. We're gonna do one other little test, so before going over to Chile, uh, we're gonna do like to call the off-road suspension test. Overtation. I was hoping to see if we can climb, especially with that bull bar, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, oh it did it. it! It was able to. As we go down here, as you can see, it's just driving over the same Then look at the suspension. It that's pretty good. Look at that. Let's see if we can climb this one too. It was very surprising to be able to climb. I don't really think the bull bar. Oh, there we go. It's helping. I just magically popped up there. So you can see, like, it's just going. And we're going about as if we would over land, and it's handling pretty much the same. So, yeah, that, that and that's pretty freaking amazing. I just want to say that. that. Comes to the off road test there. The graphic is a plus. Solid. And I just kind of slam into this. I want to do this up. Oh, wow! Just gonna be able to just get away. Not many vehicles. I'm not sure of another vehicle that can do that. They just gets up there and get on the way. And just go. Now we may not have 100% success. And people can still stick at you or explode you from up there, but it may not be a good uh, way to get away. Obstacle to just ram you up here, but uh, you have that option. Uh, that's pretty awesome. This is cool. So let's head over to Chiliad, a much different side. Sorry for the lag, I'm not sure what's going on. I got some stuff running in the background on my PC. We're actually gonna take this trail right here. And I'm not gonna lie, this thing is just, it's got the torque to just climb. I haven't done any steep climbs, but it seems like it has no real issues. We're able to go like 50 miles an hour. So we're gonna take our own path and see how well we can just easily just scale. So no problem. Okay, we're having a little toughness here, but this is where a lot of vehicles would normally kind of stall out. Well, oh, 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 we hit a tree. I didn't see a tree. It was like, that was like a little rock or a bush. And we're tumbling. We're tumbling, folks. Oh, ah! And the only thing I did notice, I didn't see a road cage. Road cage, but we'll check that out. Not that I think I really care for in-game safety. Uh, let's see. Okay. Right up here. Go. This thing is, it, it is a climber. You can see the grade of this. If this was real life, this would be a pretty amazing vehicle. Uh, and it's handling okay despite it having so much travel and suspension and rolling a little bit. You know, you get a lot of body roll, but that's suspected. But it's able to get up to that quite easily. And we're actually getting some pretty good time in. And we're only going about 20 miles an hour, but it feels a lot faster. Uh, and it feels pretty sure-footed. I would say, I wouldn't say it's as sure-footed as a billy goat, but, uh, or not goat. I'm gonna take the rough way. Uh, we're, we're not, we're not, uh. Ah, and we're going over. Okay, let's get those. It's getting a little, let's get all, yeah. We only have that light bar came, but I'm a little disappointed that it didn't have like a lot of other lights. And so we're racing to beat the sun up Chiliad. Where the sun goes down, we're trying to go up Chiliad. I'm not sure. It looks like we passed up when we have a problem. We tried to go up the uh, rock. Oh, oh, not all the way over. Okay. That's pretty crazy. We almost went all. Which I'm wondering if it would, but I'm sure it would destroy maybe the vapor. 
your uh, your Riata. This is gonna keep on the map because it does seem like they are trying to make it up. Some of this is my era. And I'm taking a rougher option. Just, just my own stupidity. But say I'm not much of an off-roader, uh, I do like it. Uh, in game it's fun. There's some exploring like this is really cool right now. Um, it's not something I do often. I know that some people sing is off-roading. Uh, I think if you're doing off-road races, depending on what kind of race, like it obviously is a point to point, you probably do well in this. Like if someone did like a race up Chiliad type uh, race, this might be the vehicle you want. Uh, I think it gives you a lot of control even when we're almost falling off the side. Um, and it gives you a lot of power. We won't get completely stuck. I really just don't see this game getting stuck. Now, because of its high center gravity, which helps it, it does tend to want to roll, but not as much as you would think because it has that so much suspension charge. You see, we're going to that folder. The body barely moved. We're going to go up this way. The body barely moved. Uh, so here we are on the top of Chiliad. We made it. Well, I guess if we go. Highest point. Now, what I choose, like if I was climbing, I see some dirt bikes up here. Dirt bikes probably would be maybe a better option. But if you got a couple folks you want to bring with you, I guess this only sees two, and so is a dirt bike. So, but if you want to roll and not roll to your death, that's it. So we made it up before the sun really went down. We can argue about what um, that really looks like, but we did conquer Chiliad and look at us, king of the world on top of Chiliad. So I guess the question is, should you buy this? Should you buy the vehicle? If you're into off-roading, yeah. If you have a Sand King already, um, I'm not really sure how much the Sand Kings cost, but this one could definitely replace it. Uh, of course, you can steal a Sand King, that's the other thing, and you don't have to buy it, you can spend everything on upgrades. But I think the Vaporeata, we can have a shootout at one point and see who actually wins, like, you know, race up Chiliad type thing. Probably won't be able to do that for a couple of weeks when back actually online. Um, we're not, and a couple of y'all may know why. Yeah, may look a little different when we come back too. But thanks, Rockstar. We knew the risk, and I'm okay with that. Cause I want to get you guys know, can you buy it? And this is the way I do it. I mean, not can you buy it, but should you buy it? In this vehicle for off-road, yeah, you should. It's a pretty decent uh, vehicle. Uh, it climbs really well. The suspension test, I think it outdid any other vehicle I've ever put through that, although I barely reported it. And then let's take it on a quick way of Mount Chiliad. See just how durable it is. It seems to be pretty good. Let's keep it going until we get to the, uh... Of course this one has armor on it. I can imagine that it didn't. Actually, it's oh, quite easy to control. It's not like just not really cool. Okay, cool. I intentionally hit that rock. It's just keeping all of its doors, which is good, I guess. Yeah, especially if you get shot on the way down. So if you needed to evade someone that was, like, say, in a supercar, you couldn't, like, obviously outdrive them. Well, you could outdrive them, but just you can outspeed them. You definitely could get away while they're still probably bouncing down the side of Chiliad and possibly exploded. Um, we have no problem in here. Oh, look at that. It's a Sand King. And so it doesn't sit higher than the Sand King. Let's, yeah, just by, let, let's compare here. It doesn't seem to sit higher than the Sand King. But to me, it just it does travel better. I can't find the SUVs that well. But that seem to do better than the Sand King uh, off road. I will have to tell you, like comparatively, can't say we have to do another video on the Sand King. Maybe a shootout in the next video, see which one is actually better. Because again, I could have stole that guy's Sand King and got it for free. I can something I can still put in my garage. I can mod it. It doesn't have the library, but it does have like a lot of options. It has quite a bit of options for a stillable vehicle. And there's actually some um, 
We can get some very modified Sand Kings too in game if you know the tips and tricks. If Rock Size and Cut that happen off, um, there's some located throughout the map. So, is it better than the Sand King? I don't know. I really don't know. After seeing that one next to us and seeing the height of it, we really just have to see performance of the Sand King. I don't know why I can't back up today, folks. I haven't been drinking yet. It's still early here. Alright. So should you buy it? For the price, I say yeah. I mean, you can definitely steal a Sand King if you need an off-road vehicle and you're maybe trying to do some off-road racing and you're getting into it. I say start with Sand King. But if you already got the Sand King and want something a little bit more, it's definitely something that looks a little better. To me, this looks better. Has more options for modding. I say go with this one. We have to do a shoe out, which we might do in a couple of episodes later. The Sand King Versa is the Viata. And we'll see which one is actually better. But until next time, GTA, this is Should I Buy This? And yes, you should.